Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day filled with positive vibes. Today's video is going to be another Gunsmith video. A lot of people have been asking about it in my comment section, been asking about the S36, and people want to see the S36. For some odd reason, they're like, yo, I want it to be like the season that we had it lasering people. Well, let me tell you guys something. I've tested this before, and it is not amazing. I promise you guys, it's not going to be overpowered. It's going to be good, but not amazing. Just to prove it to you guys, one of the gameplays we actually played against a real player who was using a a real build and I'm not gonna spoil anything but he was really good with that gun so and just to prove to you guys that although this is a good build there's gonna be other gunsmith build that will destroy you like dominate so not gonna spoil anything but again like I said we do do all these videos on streams if you want to follow me live on trovo.live slash d hitman it's gonna be the first pinned comment so hopefully you guys will enjoy the rest of the video and I'll see you guys at the end I believe that we can do a low recoil build but is it possible to make it a fast moon speed? You can't. There's no scound in stock, so it's not really worth it. But we can try to do like a low recoil. But before we do a low recoil, the first test that we need to check is what does a recoil look like from this range? That's not really the important part. Honestly, a fast ADS build could be really good. I honestly find like this is probably the most important part. But let's look at the recoil pattern now. And we're going to do the no grip, obviously. So this is how it looks now. As you guys can see, it's kind of it's kind of insane. A lot of vertical, but also horizontal recoil. So I feel like you just got to get rid of both. Yeah, it's about the same, right? So it's like similar. It's like it's almost the same. So we'll try to we'll try to make that better, and uh, we'll see how it goes once we hop into our build. And we'll see what else you can do. Actually, we're gonna gunsmith this one. So the main thing we gotta do is that um, is it this one? We'll go with the silence build, choose out an ADS, increases damage and its range. Oh, it doesn't have that for this. Oh, it does have movement speed though. So I'm actually intentionally do that ADS build. So we, we can't do the range build. So we're not going to do the range build. We're just going to do the full lateral recoil here. Another lateral. This has vertical recoil. I think we can go like an ADS and there's not much lateral recoil control kind of barrels. Oh, wait, there's a damage range here. Haha, <laughs> I lied. That's what we're going to do. Damage range. So, yeah, we have the lateral recoil here. There's not much things that give you lateral recoil control. That kind of sucks. Mostly vertical recoil control, though. I feel like we could potentially make it good, but... Whether or not at least lose out on movement. Yeah, it's like all vertical recoil stuff. So is there a good, yeah, 100 belt, 175. So we have like no ADS though, but our, our recoil control, recoil. It's not even that funny of a meme. I'm actually gonna switch something here. I wanna make it the lowest recoil. Don't need the suppressor. We're gonna go with the, which one has more lateral recoil control? Significant reduced vertical, slightly reduced lateral. Okay, what does this one do? Um, Made by RTC. Reduce lateral and vertical recoil. Mobility ADS needs to be slightly reduced. All right. What do we actually lose more of? Which one has better control? This one has more control. Without losing. Oh, this has more accuracy. We want more accuracy. I want more accuracy. I don't actually know which one is better, chat. All right. It still has pretty, pretty decent lateral recoil. But the 50 mag is kind of, kind of weird. What about 30? You get the 30 and no recoil. It does have pretty bad recoil still. That lateral, I feel like the RPD would be a little better. The fastest one is the S36 at 240. 242, so the chopper is still better, in my opinion. Still better. I, I, I'll show you to you guys in a second. We'll compare the chopper. So this is our slow kind of build. You know what I mean? It's it's not bad, but like it's not amazing. Like I I personally think the chopper has a better mobility slash better damage build, especially if you go like the hip fire build. Uh, let's see if I can shoot the guy at A. You're actually not that slow, all things considered. You are not that slow. You're actually able to, you know what? You're able to laser at that medium to long range. I'm um, short to medium range. Time to kill is based on Hawk's Nest sight is 320 milliseconds, so which is which is good. Let me see if I can shoot this guy here that's gonna come out. It's 
guy's throwing nades here. That was pretty good, though. Enemy shield turret deployed. Where's this guy put the shield turret? Whoa! Stop your nades! Stop your nades! Stop your nades! Oh, wait. Wait. He was holding a nade. Chat, he was holding a nade on my screen. Can I wall bang this and maybe get him? Oh, I can. Lol. Reloading. Not gonna lie, that was pretty funny. Capture Charlie. Online. I mean, it can laser. We capturing a. We captured B. But Reloading. is it amazing? I like the chopper way better, personally speaking. All right, yeah. I'll, I'll give you guys one more game with this. Just to, I want to show you guys why I personally think the, the chopper is still better, even if you go like a long ADS build. I mean, like a long gun build. But the RPD will be better for longer range. I mean, that damage is good. Obviously, the main strong suit is the, the wall bangable. Alright. Nine bullets in a dream. Let's see if I can long range kill this guy that's about to pop up. Where the heck are these people? Okay. Good test, good test, good test. Good test. Good test, good test. That was a good test. Hmm. There's a guy in here. What the heck? The hit fire is pretty decent. Where's the shield turret? Wait. Wait. I'm very low. Lol. Okay, well, the S36 is pretty good. Is it amazing? I don't know. I don't know. The more I play with it, the more I kind of, like, enjoy it. But again, it's against bots. But then again, I, I find myself using other guns that do a lot better. I got lasered. I'll try it one more time, but we're just going to compare it to some of the other guns. I feel like the RPG will do a little bit better. But we'll, I'll give it one more game, and I'm going to try maybe, like, a crossfire map. Just to see if it's potentially a great long range kind of gun. You know, you obviously know back in the days, S36 used to be S36 spamming, and this is the map you could do it on, also as well as raid. All right, so let's see if I can laser these guys here. Okay, it's not as crazy as like the AK1, uh, AK47. Does that potential? It does, but is it gonna be S36 camper? Potential? No, it's not. That AK-47 had like a no recoil and it was 33 damage basically everywhere. You know what I mean? Like it's it's okay, but it's it's not amazing. All right, it is not amazing. All right, there's gonna be a guy here. Let me just shoot a boy here. There's gonna be a boy behind me. There you go. Oh, and why are you spawning here? Why? I'm not complaining. You're all giving me ammo. I hear more footsteps. Maybe another guy here. Bro, why are these guys camping here? Eh. As they're saying it's better, of course, but that's because you gunsmithed it. But does it make it meta? I don't think it's gonna be meta, personally speaking. I don't feel like it's, it's like at this range, potentially you got some, you can do some good work, potentially, right? Look at all these people I can just spray up. See, I'm pretty sure I had 75 mag before. Look how slow this ADS is, okay? So that's what you're sacrificing for that. Is it worth it? Like, I'd much rather have that AK. That AK with no recoil. That basically lasers. I'd rather have that. I'm honestly okay with them taking the points for a little bit so that I can get more kills. The, the main benefit, wall bank potential. Oh, that guy, that guy is, uh, wait, where did I get, S where did I get, oh, he's on top there. I was like, who's this other guy? I feel like the M16 is substantially going to be good. I just got, yeah, like, that is really nice. It, I don't know if he's using the no recoil. The only downside is the iron sight is pretty bad. It looked like a no recoil though to me. Oh, I just got, wait, sentry gun? Where? Huh? Oh man, he got a nuke. So good. The thing is, like, the M16 is really good. And the, and the S36 is not that great. You can see, like, the S36 will, will lose gunfights to a lot of guns. 
I mean, getting nuked just kind of shows the point that I was kind of want to show you guys that the S36, a lot of people want to see it. Uh, although it can be good, there's going to be so many better guns. It's just, I need to show it to people so they know, don't use the S36. There's better options. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Honestly, I think you have better options with the chopper as well as the RPD. But if you guys want to try the S36, could be possible. Let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it.